Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be telling you why the French horn is hard. It's not exactly hard, but it's rather challenging. As you can see here, the length of tubing of this French horn is about 12 feet. So if I were to unstretch it straight, it would be from here all the way behind the camera to the window. So having said that, the notes are lowered if the tubing is long. Just like a trombone. So that's why there's a lot of notes within the harmonic series. So now for the trumpet harmonic series, it's much higher because the tubing is about four and a half feet. According to this article that I found online, it takes a while for air to get through here to the bell, you know. So that's why we get split tone. There it is, that's split tone. So I'm gonna play a small portion of Gustav Mahler Symphony number no. six in A minor. As you can hear, as you heard, there were some split tones in it. But that's okay. I mean, as long as it's good and clear, you'll, you'll be fine. But keep practicing and you'll be able to get it. Another piece that I want to play unusually is the Carnival of the Venice. my armature was not exactly precise. Kind of like playing a game of darts. If you don't hit the bullseye, you'll crack and miss and create those split tones. Now, I want to try that on a cornet. Time to roll the bench. So yeah, all you have to do is just keep practicing. Keep practicing those harmonic series. That's all you have to play. So keep practicing with your armature only, no valves. Just da -da 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 And that way you can kind of get the hang of it and how it goes and how it reads on the music. I'll probably put it up on this video to what those other harmonic series. So, take care and have a good one. See you on the next video.